So this video is going to cover what a Hugel culture is. It's a German word that roughly means mound culture. And I've seen some people talk about that this is a, a practice that's been going on for thousands or, hunt, or it's an ancient practice of growing uh, food. But uh, in researching for this, uh, for this project, it's a little mysterious. Um, there's not many references. And um, so maybe if you guys have some more information or some links, you can put those in the description or in the uh, comments and I could do some further research. But uh, yeah, there's not too many mentions of it as an ancient uh, practice. At least I haven't found them yet. So basically it's a method with many variations for a raised garden bed and the main main portion that makes up a hugel culture, what makes it a hugel culture is that it's buried wood and branches. Uh, usually you use large logs or stumps and uh, then you're layering in leaves, twigs, weeds, soil on top to finish it off. Uh, some good compost on the top and it's going to form a mound. And I always tell people to think of it like you're making uh, forest debris over you know, many, many years, you know, the trees fall, then the branches fall and the leaves, you know, are, are constantly composting in a forest. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, weeds growing and dying and all this is just, you know, continuing to make the soil in the forest and, you know, it's all falling and breaking down. So we're kind of mimicking that when we make these things. And, uh, that's why they're pretty effective. I've seen they can be laid either in a trench or on top of the ground. I always suggest that people, when starting out doing this, to do it on top of the ground because, um, you know, digging a trench can be a little uh, labor intensive. But, um, you know, the trench ones, especially when you do a trench one and then you place the wood into it, um, the water can be held in that trench and then it seeps into the wood, the wood decomposes and it becomes spongy and it'll hold water. And that's the main, that's a huge benefit of this, this style of garden is that it'll hold water for dry times and then the roots will reach down and then it'll provide water for the entire garden above. In the, and it's all, it's all one system, you know, each bound is a whole system. You can think of a mini forest floor. And then the microbes and nutrients are going to feed the garden bed for years or decades, you know, depending on the size. Some people make these things like six feet, you know, two meters tall and pretty wide. So, um, so that's about covers it in what is a Hugel culture and, uh, leave some questions below. Thanks.